everyone, it's Mrs. Messner again. And this week I have another awesome book for you. If you liked last week's book, What Do You Do With a Chance? You're going to really like this book. This is What Do You Do With an Idea? And just like the other book last week, it's written by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Mae Beesom. Enjoy! One day, I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered, what do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it. So, I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. But it followed me. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. See how he's carrying the idea around with him now? I showed it to other people even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. Just a moment. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do, and it's okay if it's different and weird. It may be a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it. I played with it. But most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew and grew, and so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because, it said, it is good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then, one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. Look what's happening to his idea when he takes really good care of it. Do you see? That's why it burst into the sky, because he took such good care of his idea. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you can do with an idea. You can change the world. The end. 
Have you ever had an idea that you thought was maybe a little crazy or you didn't think people would like? What did you do with it? Did you ignore it and leave it behind? Or did you take it and take care of it and let it grow? I hope that next time you have a good idea or even an idea you're not sure if it's good or not, take care of it. See what happens with it. Just like in this book, you never know. You might be able to change the world. And I think that every single one of you is capable of making this world a better place. I hope that you stay well, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.